Hey peeps, Kay here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subby. So I have a journal to share with you today. Um, this journal came together really, really fast. Um, I would say less than two days. Um, I was so inspired um, by this fabric. I got string attached to me. <laughs> this fabric that I was gifted by Fatima from Magnolia Seed, that is her Etsy shop, and she blessed me with this beautiful happy mail, and I just knew it's, uh, instantly I was going to make a journal out of it, but I did send, save a little piece for myself so I can make myself a journal, so this will be the only journal with this fabric because I, I had to save a, the other piece for myself. So it is one signature, it's soft, um, covered, it is super chunky. I could not stop stuffing it. It is a little bit of an overhang because I just could not bear to cut down anything. So there is a little bit of an overhang. Um, but I just think it, I just love how it came out. And I, I think it's, it's beautiful, um, in my opinion. So I used the kit that I found that I thought just went perfectly with this fabric is from Journal Centric, I believe is the name of the shop. I'm going to link both shops that I use down in the description box below. Um, and then I use Vintage Ladies from Ruby and Pearl. Um, I'm going to link um, Heather's shop down in the description box below as well. I love her Vintage Ladies. I, I had to message her when I printed them out because they were just so beautiful and diverse. That is the thing that I really loved about them. Um, they had a bunch of different ethnicities and I just fell in love with it. So you'll be, there's a lot of them in here. Um, a lot that will be coming along with this journal and I will be using her, um, vintage ladies a lot. You'll see them a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Thank you again. So I added this beautiful satin ribbon because I wanted to bring out this little wine color, this fabric. Oh gosh, so pretty. So I just tied it up. It's just wrapped around. Look how beautiful. I, I struggled because I thought I wanted to add a book plate somewhere, but I just could not. I could not cover it. I thought about just putting it in here in the corner, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So I added some book plates here and stitched around. And then I kept the spine very, very simple because, again, I did not want to take away from the beautiful fabric. So I just added this lace and these little um, rosette uh, flowers here on the spine. And then look at the back. I'm sorry, I have strings everywhere. <laughs> the back is so beautiful. I wanted this to be the front, um, but it would have been upside down if I, you know, it would have been upside down. My phone is ringing. I don't know why. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going, ignore the phone. So here we go. So inside here, I made a pocket. Um, and then I used some wallpaper from my stash to cover the, the um, cardstock pocket here that I made. And then this beautiful trim also came from Fatima. So thank you again, Fatima. I love, love, love it. This is one of um, Heather's. Heather is from Ruby & Co., um, I mean, Ruby and Pearl. <laughs> I only have one cup of coffee. I'm sorry. This is her, the Polaroid ladies. Um, really, really beautiful. And then underneath is the ephemera from the digital kit. It's called Midnight Flowers. I don't know if I said that. Um, and so I just stitched it behind there. And so you can journal on the inside. Everything is inked up with some vintage photo. And then I have a journal card here. This is from Prima. And then this, I believe, this tag is from Heidi Swap. And then I just added this dress form sticker and added some fiber. Again, everything is inked up. So this doesn't really have a theme. It's just beautiful florals and vintage ladies. That's, that's it. So look how beautiful. Oh, this kit. Uh, this kit is so me. It's so me. <laughs> Brooklyn. Okay, sorry you guys. I don't know what she's barking at. <laughs> in the bathroom. There's nobody in the bathroom. <sighs> she's so 
such a weird dog. Anyway, I don't even know where I was. So, um, yeah, I love this kit. It has just shown me the dark, um, the vintageness with the, the dark florals and the little faux lace. Oh, I just love it. Love it. Love it. Beautiful job. So I printed on the back. Um, all of these have the same, um, I mean, the backs have the same print on the back, so you can write right over it. This is a leftover, I just one sheet of paper from this Prima uh, kit. I don't even remember the name of the paper collection, but I added it in here, and I had a lot of leftover scraps that I couldn't part with, so you'll, they'll be sprinkled in here. Um, I have this little glassine envelope and a Tim Holtz, um, Tim Holtz, what is that? Tim Holtz. Uh, floral and a sticker from that same Prima collection and then this little tag that I got in Happy Mail with some fiber. I didn't put anything anything inside the glassine bag. This is from my garden book. Am I in frame? Okay. And then you can journal right here in the middle. So pretty. And then I added some of Tsunami Rose um, her coffee dyed paper with the, you know, I don't know what she calls it. I can't remember what she calls it, but I love this paper. And I just tore the edges and I inked around them. Added my onion skin paper. Look how beautiful. Oh gosh. I'm in love with this paper collection. <laughs> I'm in love. I mean, this is a digital kit. Um, I just added this uh, vintage recipe page in here just because no theme to this. Um, beautiful. Just beautiful. I can't talk for some reason. Um, not enough coffee, I guess. But it's just so pretty, this kit is. Here's another paper just from my stash. This has like that, um, what do you call it? The felt flock, whatever you call it. But it has a lot of texture to it. And I just... Um, added this belly band it's a double belly band and this card um is not vintage but it's beautiful and i thought it just looked really pretty so there is a double belly band here so it's here and behind it and then you have the envelope to match i just thought the colors match really nicely with the kit Little um, vintage dictionary page, some ledger. I added one of my little wash. Oh, I'm gonna put some glue on here. My little washi sticker on there. Little postage ones, and then this is from that Prima collection. Oh, my stickers are coming up. I'm gonna glue those down. I've had those for a long time. So this is just a black bag. Here's an, another one of. Um, Heather's Vintage Ladies I just clipped on there. I think, let me see what is on the back of this. I think it's, oops. Oh, there we go. That's what's on the back. That's probably not a good place to put that on that bag. Let me not put that on there because I feel like it's going to tear it. I have to find another place for that. And then I printed this page on vellum. So pretty. This is just a page that I got in some happy mail. So pretty, so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark, but it's just vintage lady. Sorry about the glare. And then this is just a sticker that I added here. And then this is just a page from my stash. And what I did was I stitched this um, other page from my stash and I made a pocket. So you have a, let me take this off because then I'm not going to be able to get it to tag out. So I made a pocket at the top. So I have this tag and then this from the digital kit. Isn't that pretty? So that is inside. So I had that this way. I don't know why it matters to me, but it does. <laughs> Tag with some sari ribbon at the top. And then this is from my garden book. It's a beautiful flower. And then there's just some scrapbook paper. Okay, 
maybe I'll just put her here. Let's put her there. Okay. And then I make sure I stay in the frame here. So I love this. I've said that so many times. This is just some ledger from my stash. And it's from the Sears, um, Sears and Bobux catalog. And then look how beautiful. This is from Heather's shop as well. How beautiful are they? Beautiful, just beautiful. And I just took the leftover paper and I just made a tag and I added some um, black lace. And so you can journal on the inside. Really, really pretty. And then this is just some leftover fabric. This I got in Happy Mail. So I have no idea who made that. I don't remember. But it's cute. Add a little sticker. This is some, some string. <laughs> Edith Holden here. I added some washi tape because I stitched the two pages together. And then I stitched... I fold it and stitched it so it's a little pocket you can use a tuck spot and then again how beautiful oh my little washi stickers need more glue I have to glue them better some vintage music sheet and I printed um, Heather's beautiful roses in the middle rose in the middle <laughs> I can't talk at all today look how beautiful that is Here's the other side, so you can tuck something in there. Add another sticker up there. Lots of journaling space. Lots and lots of journaling space. Oh, I didn't even realize the ink on my printer must have messed up. So it's a little white. Right there. I'll have add a little bit of um, ink right there so that won't be so white. I didn't even notice that until just now. Here's another one of um, Heather's Vintage Ladies. And I did the same thing. I added her, um, the, I added ephemera from the digital kit behind her. And so you can journal on the back. And this just hooks on top. And then I just added some lace to the paper clip. Oop, this came off. I had this tucked inside. There's another one of her vintage ladies. You could journal on the back. So I had that tucked underneath like that. And then on this is this is the other side of the, the page that I made the other pop the top pocket. So this one has the side pocket. Another um, image. <laughs> goodness <laughs> image from my um my garden book and then there's the back and then this is just the leftover paper from that prima paper i told you guys about and then here's another one of the beautiful vintage ladies so pretty the other side of the vellum Here's the other side of the black bag. I just added the Tim Holtz um, die cut and I left it open for a tough spot. And here's another little ephemera from the digital kit. And then on the inside, I just have this journal card from Prima. So lots and lots of journal space ledger paper I mean ledger page here and then again I had like I said I had the leftover Prima paper so that's what this is here that I stitched on and made a little side tuck some more of the beautiful ephemera from this digital kit Here's another one of the beautiful vintage ladies. So I just tied some leftover fabric here. This opens up. Here's the back. And I just made a really simple 
um, paper clip. I mean, this is from Fatima as well. So I added that in there. I just had this over the page like that. Oh, goodness. Okay. I totally messed that up. <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Oh, goodness. It's a hot mess video anyway oh this kid is lovely 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 and I did a little fabric flip with this beautiful beautiful um, lace that I also got from Fatima there's some leftover fabric I tried to use all the leftover fabric in this journal that I had left so Lift up, and then this is just a sticker. My garden book page. And here, I my printer printed um, this flower twice um, on copy paper. So I just left it, and then I just printed this, um, this little grid on the back. So you'll have another journal space. Uh, journal spot right here and then this is just I don't know why I put that in there this is just the altered envelope that I had in my stash already made so just with some napkins and whatnot and then on the inside I just added another piece of the ephemera Move that down so the flowers show. Ooh, look how pretty. Okay. So, and then I have this vintage postcard that I added in there. Miss Sarah Meyer from, I can't read it, 1911? I feel like that's what it says, 1911. But anyway, from Ekron, Ohio. So that is that. That in there. Alrighty. And then there's the last page. And then there is the back. This beautiful vintage, um, not vintage, this beautiful uh, scrapbook paper that has like this beautiful ledger print on the back. And there it is. So, oh my God, that seems like it took forever. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. But this will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, by the time you see this video, it should be listed. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, it was a little bit of a hot mess. <clears throat> and um, I don't know when the next journal will come. But um, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, have a great one. Bye.